Well, there's one thing being impacted a lot, and we're in the middle of foster care month. Want to shine a light on how this housing crisis is imp impacting those in the foster care system. Fox 29's Daniel Seat, now from Place of Hope, with who's feeling this the most. There's a plight of people that are just falling through the cracks here. It's those that are in the foster care system that unfortunately don't find their forever home. They turn 18 and they have no one and nowhere to go. It's something that's even grabbing the attention of former First Lady Melania Trump. You can see it here. She visited their facilities just this week. Now, founding CEO Charles Bender says at least 100 young adults are put in this situation every year, and that number is only growing. Place of Hope has an affordable housing program specifically to help, and it's called the Village of Hope. We're at one of the facilities right now. But with rent costs on the rise, so was the number of young adults relying on this program. Now, Bender says they're doing everything that they can to keep homelessness out of the question, and they're planning to expand their locations in Boca Raton and their new location in Stewart. But the one here in Palm Beach County is maxed out, and he says it's becoming tough to fight against a tumultuous system. We've had kids that have been in 40 foster homes before they've been placed with us. And that's not an exaggeration. It happens all the time. And so how can we expect as a society for these young people to be successful, to be able to focus on their educational attainment and all these other things and healthy development as a whole when they're bouncing all over the place? So if you would like to help, donations are what allows them to build more of these facilities for these young adults. Reporting in Palm Beach County, I'm Danielle Seat. I'll send it back to you.